request Sri Shah Nawaz Kasim Garu to deliver a message to our uh, participants here. Thank you, sir. Respected, eminent personalities on the dais, faculty members of Usmania University, dear students, <coughs> press, media, a very good evening to all of you. It is indeed a privilege and a respect for me to have been invited to such an illustrious function where I have been asked to deliver some message on the life of three great personalities as well as combine it for the benefit of prospective students who are aspiring to succeed in their life. It's a big challenge, but yes, I will try my best to live up to their expectations. Once Prophet Moses was summoned by God to meet him on Mount Sinai. The message was received by him. So there was no option but to go and meet God on Mount Sinai. So he set out meeting God. On the way, he thought of staying at a place where a very eminent personality, very pious, very knowledgeable, very wise, known all over the region in Egypt as a wise man. People revered him. So Prophet Moses thought that let me stay in the night in his house and after that we'll go to Mount Sinai. So on the way, he stopped at his house. The gentleman was very pleased to receive Prophet Moses. And when they sat on the dinner, he inquired, where are you going in such wilderness? He told that God has summoned me to meet him on Mount Sinai, so I'm going. So that instigated a lot of curiosity in that man. He asked, if you are going to meet God, why don't you ask him about me? Whether I am a good man, whether I am a good leader, whether I am a guide to my students, to the people, whether I am a philosopher, friend, something like that. You ask God. Prophet Moses was taken aback. He told her, everybody knows in Egypt that you are a good man, you are a leader of men. That's why I come here, sat before you. Why are you wasting my time? God would be very angry if I ask such things. He pestered him throughout the dinner. So, reluctantly, Prophet Moses agreed. Yes, I will ask this thing to God. But you know the answer. It's just like formality to keep you in good humor. Because in the return, I also have a dinner with you. So, that's the deal. He goes to Mount Sinai. He interacts with God. While he is completing his formalities and going down the hill, God asks him, will you not ask him? Ask me about that man. Then Moses remembered. Yes, yes, my Lord, I forgot. Like, you forgot, but I don't forget. You want to ask about that man? Yes, I will tell you. He is a very bad man. <laughs> he is not a leader of the men. He is not even a guide to his men. He is not a philosopher. He is not a friend to his people. Prophet Moses was taken aback. He was shocked. He told, my Lord, he is one of my favorite person. I rever him, that's why I went to his, I know everything, but he is not a right guide. Then Prophet Moses was pestering God, you tell me the reason, I cannot take it, because he was the person, he is the only prophet you argued with God. As for the Bible, Hebrew Bible. So God tells him, okay, I will tell you one thing only, that will make you think. Why I am not considering myself a leader among the men. He eats dinner every day, every night. You must have also seen him. You had dinner with him. Did you notice a hen roaming around, circling him? Moses says, yes, my Lord, I saw a hen. Did he give a morsel of bread also to that hen? He says, no, he did not give. So how can he be a great leader of men? A person who does not take care of the voiceless, who does not take care of the weak, who does not take care of the marginalized, who does not take care of the weakest of the weakest, he cannot be a leader of men. He cannot be a good man. He cannot be a guide. This is the reason I am telling you this anecdote to link it with these three people. These three people are great because they took care of the marginalized. They spoke for the voiceless. They spoke for whom there was no voice to be spoken. They were the marginalized. They were the downtrodden. That is the reason they are great. Not that because one is self-centered, knowledgeable, wise, pampering himself. He may be a great leader to, to himself, but to what? The people who are waiting for the leader to come. 
That is the reason Baba Sahib is great. Babu Jagjivan Ram is great. Mahatma Yati Phule is great. They could have done so much thing for themselves. But they give, jisko kate waf karna. Waf is a term in Arabic which means to give it to. Waf is a property donated to God. So they made their life work for the people who were really the weakest of the weak, whom nobody was standing up for. That is the reason they are God among the people. So why I am telling you that this three personality can also change your life. One of the reasons, I have three, four reasons. A lot of people know about their life, they struggle, but I will only talk about the message they are trying to give to you. And you can connect with your career also. So it's a very challenging thing, but I'm trying to collect it. It's a combined session, so I will make it a combined session also. First thing is that they asked you to dream big. Small dreams have small endings. Big dreams have big endings. Oh, pura big picture hall me dekna. It's you should have a big vision. Even if you fail, you will be in somewhere in the middle. So always dream big. Never compromise on your dreams. If you are fearing to dream, then nothing can happen. This is the only thing where there is no tax. This is the only thing where you there have no control over a person. You can dream whatever you feel like. Somebody dream about just passing. Somebody dream about becoming big. So dream big. Never let your dream be small. If it happened, fine. If it doesn't happen, so what? At least it gave you that satisfaction, mental satisfaction, the strength to succeed in life. So never compromise on your dream. Baba Saab never compromised on his Did he realize that today he would be among the greatest of the men? Did he realize? But he dreamed very big to emancipate the downtrodden and bring up to a level of equality with everybody. He gave the slogan of liberty, fraternity, equality. Though it is famous in the French Revolution, but it made it practical in India. We study in history books about French Revolution, but why don't we study about our great leader, Mahatma Phule? They were the people who really meant what is liberty, what is fraternity, and what is equality. So they dreamed much, much bigger which was a crime even in those times to dream like that. So, never compromise with your dream. I tell you, I just know one person. There are so many great people, but I personally know a person who dreamed big and became big. He never compromised with his dream. Though he could have compromised, he had many options to give up, but he did not give up. He is not the one who passed civil service exam, neither. He was a person, I will not name him because he is my friend. He is a person, sir, very good at mathematics. He used to get 98, 99 in mathematics. But not at all interested in his studies. I am talking about my school days. He used all his life, I have seen from class 6 if I remember correctly, he had only one copy in his hand. Never a second copy. But very good at science, but never interested in his studies. What was his vision? Why I am telling? Because dream is not only related to getting a job in civil services. I will not be very miser to tell you about jobs only of Telangana government. It will be a crime against you. It is university. Mind should be open. Anything big is big. Be it civil service, be it your business, entrepreneurship, anything. He wanted to be an entrepreneur. So after 10th, he told me, I'm not studying in college. I will do distance education, whatever is there. I will invest my business. And believe me, with his passion, he must be, I think, more than 1,000 crores. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Why? This is one of the things which we are missing among our students. I always tell, okay, job is good, but be an entrepreneur. Think about being an entrepreneur also. I come from a business family. Not a big business. I am the only one who did government job. All my brothers, sisters, they are all businessmen. My father is a businessman. We have a small shop. But from here we went into a little bigger. My brother is now becoming even bigger than me. 
entrepreneurship is also an area where your creativity is required. You know, recently I uh, saw one person donating 1500 crores to IIT. Some company, I don't remember him. So many people are sitting here. Within five years, one of you can donate 2000 crores to Osmania University. <laughs> Such is the power of being an entrepreneur. So think big, bigger, even bigger. This is first. Second is failure is an option. Who told you failure is not an option? I could not qualify IIT. I am the only one who could not qualify, though I am the school topper. I am the school topper, I am the college topper. But I could not do engineering because my interest was not there. My parents forced me, go, take tuition. I used to take tuition, my teacher used to teach algorithm, whatever is calculus. My mind was somewhere else. My mind was in social issues. I was very much inclined towards humanities, writing, poetry, literature. So I failed. But then I realized my vocation is towards administration. I sat for the exam. Within one attempt, I qualified my civil services. So failure is an option. Or do not think that failure shuts your door. You find where your passion lies. My passion was never in engineering. With all due respect to engineers, 99% of my friends are engineers. I am the only one who did not become an engineer. So it's your passion. Failure can be an option. You can change failure into the area where you have passion. So never get very disheartened. I know a friend of mine who was studying with me. In 95, 96, we were preparing for civil services. After seven years, he qualified. He never gave up. That can also be an inspiration. Now he's a collector in Bihar, sir. He never gave. We told him, why you are doing so much of hard work? Give up. We will take care of you something. No, he never gave up. So this can also be a second example, perseverance. Baba Sahib, if you would have gave up when nobody was listening to him, four or five people, were there, would he have succeeded? So failure is an option. They all three failed in their life. If they could have just sat with their failure, they could not have been great man, Mahatma. Everybody fails. To, who doesn't fail is not a great man. So always keep failure as an option. Second is, the third is success is what you want. What others want success is not the success. I can personally tell you from my life. My son is going to give his 12th next year. I ask you, what do you want to be? He says, I have not still decided. I tell you, why don't you go for engineering? That's why I asked yeah, yeah. Professor Saab, what can be the best engineering course for him? Which branch? I asked Registrar Saab also. Because I want to give him option. He says, I have not yet decided what I will be. But he can be successful in what he wants to be. He has a passion for astrophysics. He is very much interested in astronomy. Astro he asks, from class 5 onward, he used to ask me questions on astrophysics. And I tell you, if one subject you should study is astrophysics, it opens up your mind. Astronomy. It makes you feel that you are nothing in this world. It makes you feel that no, there is no end to truth. Truth is temporary. Today, one discovery, tomorrow another NASA discovery is there. And you know, Einstein in his own life failed only once, and that too was making about astrophysics. He told that the universe, universe is constant. G, he made a formula also. Edwin Hubble, after 10 years, told that the universe is expanding. And he was so ashamed of himself, he apologized to the whole world. And he says that is the biggest blunder of his life. So failure is an option. And third is that what I'm trying to tell you. Expand your vision. If you read astrophysics, you will realize that life has certain failure, certain success. You are not, no more great that God should only concentrate on you. He has much other business to do. You are just a speck. So it opens up your vistas of thinking. It opens up your horizon. That will aid you in life. Not only in 80,000 posts, but beyond that. Sitaro ke aage jahan aur bhi hai. Beyond the stars, there are life also. So beyond 80,000 jobs also, there is life. So think about that also. Think differently. Mainstream pe sabhi jate. Aap alak se kya soch sakte? 
अमेजन जेफ बेजोस को लीजिए ना आई स्टिल रिमेंबर 95 का सर एक आर्टिकल है वॉल स्ट्रीट जर्नल में वॉल स्ट्रीट जर्नल वाले क्या लिखते हैं जेफ बेजोस के बारे में मेरे पास है अभी फोन में ही होगा कहीं कि दिस मॉडल इज बोगस ही इज अ फूल ही इज स्विंडलिंग पीपल दिस इज वॉट द कंटेंट ऑफ द एंटायर आर्टिकल इज अबाउट जेफ बेजस अमेजन दिस इज बाउंड टू फेल वो एक अपने ऑफिस में एक छोटा सा कंप्यूटर लेके एक आदमी बैठा हुआ है नाउ वेर इज ही थॉट डिफरेंटली हैव दैट करेज टू थिंक डिफरेंटली इफ यू हैव फेलियर एस एन ऑप्शन इफ यू कैन ड्रीम बिग देन यू कैन थिंक डिफरेंटली वाई एम कमिंग इन हेरार की ड्रीम बिग टेक फेलियर एस एन ऑप्शन देन यू कैन थिंक डिफरेंटली नॉट द फर्स्ट वन इट्स अबाउट एवरीबडी इंटरनेट इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू देर इज अर्टिकल इन सेम वॉल स्ट्रीट जर्नल दिस इज अ फैड Internet, nobody will. Within one year, this is going to be doomed. Where is now internet? So how we misread and how people take differently. So now the same thing is being talked about metaverse. Technology people will understand more metaverse. It's just a fad. So think differently. Those who can think, if they thought differently, why am you connect with them? They thought differently. Just not like everybody is thinking the same way. You will have definitely. your dreams bigger your matlab ke success bigger and you can share your success with everybody it's a university so i will not only speak about jobs because it will be criminal negligence on my part university is the abode of thinking big thinking perseverance i am a very hasty man my wife tells me that i am a very hasty man i doesn't wait for things to happen aaj flower lagaya kal ho jana because that is the sub culture of police the moment i give orders next call i want ki ho gaya kya are saab abhi to main gaadi pe baitha hu so these tactics will not help you in life so learn from a person like me who i cannot call myself a successful person because i am a very hasty person i want things to be done abhi hona hai khana bhi bhi main jaunga iftar mein bolunga are abhi khana lagare bhi abhi to aaye garam hone mein time bhi lagta na so everybody is against me in my home because of my hastiness so ye nahi karna perseverance rehna great things take great time to happen aap omelet jaldi bana sakte biryani jaldi nahi bana sakte aur usse bhi do you have to think like that so if you are dreaming big failure is an option and you are thinking differently then you should have perseverance tab baith ke aapko dekhna hai ki खाना सही बनेगा तभी उतारूंगा बीस से नहीं उतार लेना सो यू मस्ट डेवलप पेशेंस अब कितना पेशेंस से डिपेंड करता हर आई होप सम एवरीबडी अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट बाइलिंग इट मेक्स योर लाइफ मोर मोर ऑर्गेनाइज इफ यू हैव परसिवियरेंस रिगार्डिंग फास्टिंग वॉट इज इट इट्स अबाउट परसिवियरेंस आठ घंटे रुक जाओ उसके बाद दबा के फिर खाना और लोग वही करते जितना रोज दिन में नहीं खाते उससे ज्यादा खाते अवतार के बाद तो ये परसिवियरेंस है तो आप शांति रखो शांति बनाए रखिए लाइफ में और ठंडे दिमाग से रखिए आपको बहुत मिलेगा इफ्तार जैसा मिलेगा बट हैव दैट परसिवियरेंस नेक्स्ट इज नेवर लूज योर फोकस ये सब किससे कहानी चलते रहते लास्ट में फोकस मिस हो जाता आपके पास ड्रीम भी है फेलियर्स भी आपने सोच लिया होगा सक्सेस वो है जो आप समझते हैं जिस डायरेक्शन में आपने सक्सेस को डिफाइन किया थिंक भी कर लिया डिफरेंटली परसिवियरेंस में बाद में पता चलता बोर हो जाते हो यार बोर बोरिंग गेटिंग बोर्ड इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेट रीजन वाई ग्रेट पीपल डज नॉट बिकम ग्रेट इवन ग्रेटर हम लोग कुछ ना कुछ करते करते कितने लोग फोकस लूज कर जाते हैं वही मैं बात कर रहा था वीसी साहब से कितने लोग एनसीआरटी पूरा पढ़ते हैं बताइए ना किताब का नोट्स का नोट्स रूम में लगा हुआ है बट पढ़ते ही नहीं है सिर्फ मेंटल सेटिस्फेक्शन है कि दस नोट्स हमने ले लिया रविंद्र से ले लिया उससे ले लिया उस एक बेचारा कहीं पे एंसर आटी पड़ा रहता है उसको कोई गरीब को देखता भी नहीं है बट अगर उसको निकाल के धूल पोछ के आप पढ़ेंगे तो नाइन्टी आपको पढ़ने की किसी चीज़ की जरूरत भी नहीं मैं अपने इससे बता रहा हूँ आई एम ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स साइंस का स्टूडेंट हूँ पर मैंने हिस्ट्री एंड सोशोलॉजी लिया क्योंकि मैंने बताया मेरा पैशन कहाँ पर 
मैं लिखने में मैं डिबेट का चैंपियन रहा हूँ आई में भी अकेडमी में भी आई में भी रहा हूँ और शुरू से मैं ये सोशल गैदरिंग्स और मतलब कि सोशल मूवमेंट्स पे मेरा बहुत सोशोलॉजी इसलिए लिया कि तीन महात्माओं की वजह से मैंने सोशियोलॉजी लिया बिकॉज आई हर्ड दम अबाउट आई एम फ्रॉम कैलकाटा सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड आई एम फ्रॉम अ प्लेस वे रेवोल्यूशन बिगैन मैं सोशोलॉजी का किताब से पहले दास दास कैपिटल पढ़ता था इंजीनियरिंग का किताब क्लास टेन में ही दास कैपिटल पढ़ना शुरू कर दिया एंजल्स मार्क्स हीगल्स सब पता था मुझे कॉपर निकस बाद में मैंने सीखा कि आइंस्टाइन क्या है और ये क्या है पहले तो थिंक इज दैट अनदर थिंग विच आई लर्न फ्रॉम दिस जेंटलमैन स्पेशली बाबा साहब बी एन इंटेलेक्चुअल बाबा साहब का एक मैसेज जो मुझे बार बार रेजोनेट करता है आप इंटेलेक्चुअली कैपेबल नहीं हो तो यू कैनॉट डिफेंड योर राइट्स यू कैनॉट आर्ग्यू विद द पीपल हु आर मच नॉलेजेबल देन यू एंड दे विल रोटेट यू वो घुमा घुमा के आपको आपका राइट right ले लेंगे You have to be intellectually competent. Baba Sahab ka writings pariye. If you would not have been into political activism, he would have been a great social scientist. He would have been a great writer. He chhod dijiye. It is another aspect of him that he could have won a Nobel Prize in sociology if sociology Nobel Prize ka rehta to. Read his flowing thoughts, the way he writes, the way he analyzes society, history, philosophy, sociology. intellectually competent baniye then only you can defend your own right and the rights of the marginalized and the poor and the downtrodden and the voiceless so read 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 there is no alternative to reading wo aapke exam mein bhi kaam aayega ncert bhi pad liya kijiye so these are few of the things which i wanted to tell you jo abhi otherwise i have prepared to speak on them but vc saab ne kaha ki nahi bhai aap combine karke boliye so i will not have been up to the mark but still If I would be able to motivate you, it would be my greatest privilege. I may tell you, I was here. DCP East Zone was when agitation was going on. So I was at university. I was here every day. In the morning, our duty was here. You know why? After that, I was on duty in the evening. So here, we couldn't come here. But we all know each other. For two years, I have worked here. So I know this university very well. I worked there for two years. So I know this university very well. I worked there for two years. So I know this university very well. I worked there for two years. जो पहला एजिटेशन का कहते हैं शुरू तो मैं एसपी वारंगल था वहां से आया तो यहां आ गया तो ये स्टूडेंट से कहीं ना कहीं मेरा लगाव रहा है और ये इट्स अ प्रिविलेज टू मी दैट टू मीट यू पीपल फ्रॉम होम आई कैन लर्न सो मच जाते जाते आई विल टेल यू अ कोट अ कपलेट ऑफ पोएट इरफान सिद्दीकी वो एक आई ऑफिसर से जो लास्ट ईयर ही इज नो मोर ही वॉज एम पी कार्डर सर एडिशनल डी सैयद साहब उनके वो मामू हैं मामू मीन्स मैटरनल अंकल मादर्स ब्रदर ही इज़ वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट पोइट ऑफ उर्दू लिटरेचर फ्रॉम लखनऊ उनका एक शेर है जो मैं हमेशा कहता हूँ लोगों को एंड आई विल ट्रांसलेट यू ऑल्सो बट सीधा से आपको समझ में आ जाएगी इट इज अवेक राइज अप टू सी द स्पेक्टिकल ऑफ द डार्क नाइट फॉर स्लीप इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू ड्रीम बिग यू कैन ड्रीम ऑल्सो वाइल बींग अवेक Dream big and I wish you all the best in your life thank you